Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in once again to how to prepare for a tournament like a professional chess player and the professional chess player is with me once again, Lilith and Kirchian. We are talking about the European Women's Championship 2022 where she was really really strong also, and this is what we learned in the episodes before, due to the strong preparation, which is very, very important. And this is what we also want to teach and let you know. Also, for me, it's all new. I'm very surprised already about the last <laughs> episodes. So you had five more rounds to go. It was an 11-round tournament. That's tiring. Uh -huh. 11 rounds. What do you prefer? Nine rounds? Seven rounds? 11 rounds? What is your favorite? Nine rounds. <laughs> Nine rounds is good enough, Nine, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. But for this, but uh, Arne, for this kind of tournament, nine round is not enough. Not enough, right? Yeah. No, 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 not enough. Yeah. Uh, no, eleven, eleven is good. Eleven is enough. At this point, you had the draw against Nana Zagnitsa. We were checking out the analysis with some very nice twists and turns in the last episode. Check this out. It's in the description and in the Chess Base News site. And now you had five rounds to go. So now. You were in the top 10. And I'm mm -hmm. asking myself often in a tournament if I have the chance to win or get a certain maybe place, maybe be in the stay in the top 10 or even get further because you were set on place 23 of 123 players. So you're doing good. You were in the, you you were probably feeling that maybe there is more to it. How does this uh, feeling affect your uh, the rest of the tournament or does it even affect it at all are you just playing from game to game don't worry about the which place you can get how is it for you uh this uh look arne so mm -hmm. this was um, after sixth uh, round yeah. right so the the tournament was let's say already half was a bit done more than half yeah more yes a little bit more than half so uh, i was content how it went, the first uh, part, mm -hmm. let's say. And now the second part was coming and I was concentrating on my games because mm -hmm. I, I know from my experience that the last three, four games are the most decisive. Yes. I mean, if you, you can play excellent whole tournament, but just if you are not uh, lucky in the last uh, rounds, you will just you will not get mm -hmm, anything, mm -hmm, and the opposite mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. I know from my experience, even if you are in the middle uh, after first part, you can get uh, to the top if you are playing uh, second part X. Just the last rounds are very important. So that's yeah. why I just uh, was concentrating on my game mm -hmm. uh, on round seven also. Just uh, and I had white. Uh, pieces against um, Narva uh, from mm. Estonia. Strong, very strong, uh, strong, very yes. strong player again. Yes, you very had... strong. That's another thing, of course, in the last couple of rounds, because uh, you are up there, you will probably receive the strong, strong players right now, one after another. This is probably tiring. Um, this did anything change in your preparation? Was were you adjusting it? Were you preparing longer, more intense? Were you taking more time to rest or like to try to focus on your games? What did anything change? Mm, and not really, not really. I was just very concentrated. Yeah. I was focused uh, on uh, on my uh, game and you. Uh, after look, Arne, after six mm -hmm. round, I had a plus three. Yeah, I, I had plus three, so my result was quite good. But uh, look, these European championships, why they are so tense also? Because they are not only European championships; they are also there is also qualification for the World Cup. So this is also very very important moment. I didn't know? I didn't actually even know about that. Sorry. So, which place do you need to reach to qualify? In this time, first uh, first nine places huh. were getting. 
so you were right in this very moment you were in this top nine interesting yeah, yeah. yes but look also what is important from my experience already yeah. i mean i'm playing the european championship since 2000 so you can imagine oh already goodness. you can imagine already <laughs> so a lot of experience yes so i know that uh, in these situations plus four is uh you i should get plus four for uh -huh, sure uh -huh. minimum minimum to get to this uh first nine you know yeah so i needed in this five last five rounds i needed one more victory to secure uh world cup uh qualification mm, that's so funny so there is something yeah of course it affects your mind a little bit right okay it i need, affects I need a lot. one it more affects, win yes i ah. need but okay yeah. one more win but also not losing others at yeah. least for the draw but on one win you know mm -hmm. so uh uh, okay, and I had white, so I was concentrated just to play normal game, you know, okay, although I had, of course, strong, uh, you know, strong opponent, but you know, uh, when you have a plus three, your all opponents are strong. Yeah. And generally, yeah. in European uh, individual championship, almost all opponents are strong, really. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I That's agree. That's true. I agree. So I agree. every day, every day you get strong opponents. So yeah. uh, that's why. Uh, okay, Nana is too strong. I mean, but generally, <laughs> <laughs> but generally, you know, um, uh, you are getting strong opponents. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I just was concentrated to play good game, just to do my best to get, if it's possible, to win. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. to do my best and just concentrate on my mm, on my game and Excellent. just uh, yeah. with this uh, good mood with this concentration i started to prepare of course uh and again arne i could surprise my opponent oh nice the let's opponent. let's take a look at this yes, right let's, now yeah, let's take I'm, a, I'm very curious about this yes yeah. uh, let's share my screen mm -hmm. okay uh-huh here yeah. Again, we have our Ararat. <laughs> always, oh, it must, it must be so yes. soothing to always see this little mountain when you start yes, up the computer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is always there, Arne. <laughs> I understand. I completely understand. Yes. So let's go. No, oh, sorry, what I'm doing. So let's go to the chess base. Okay, here is my chess <laughs> base. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, my usual preparation started with mega uh, with chess base, mega database, players here, mm -hmm. and here, of course, I uh, search. I am searching Narva. I have uh, all her uh, games here. You can see, and I am doing my usual preparation: uh, prepare against white, prepare against black, all this stuff. Yeah, and uh, we, we so, so for those who just uh, tuned in right now, just we have this all covered in episode one and two, as far as I remember. So if you, I would highly recommend if you haven't watched those episodes yet, this is how a professional chess player normally prepares in a tournament. So yeah, mm -hmm. we, we just re repeat the steps uh, every now and then. So my Narva, I, I followed uh, her games in the last couple of years, and she has been. I mean, she. I don't even think like two years ago she was 2,200 or something. And now she's 2,400, so... Pfft. Yes, she's doing... <coughs> yes, uh, she's doing... You are completely right. So, she's doing yeah. quite well re uh, recently. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, let's go to this very important game again. Mm -hmm. So you were white, and that is always like... With your repertoire, which you, you already mentioned a couple of times, you play... You can play anything. That must be unpleasant for any opponent of yours because they don't they cannot really prepare for you because you know it all right so this is yeah. uh, this is already a little advantage and little mind game which you won in this case but you still could surprise her yeah I, I agree. I agree, Arne. Yes, that's why, you know, for me also, when I see my opponent uh, plays everything, uh, mm. it's it's really hard to prepare because it takes for, uh, it takes a lot of time to prepare against this, against this, against this, against this. And you know in your mind that anyway, checking everything, you can you can get surprised anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? And I played again. 
this time again I played Night, Night Every. Every. The third time as far as I count. Did you? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And here we went for this stuff. Look, D5, mm -hmm. D4, Knight F6. And here I decided I prepared such, you know, such again, uh, unusual, unusual variation. Yeah. C3. Mm -hmm. There we have it, yeah. Yes, this is already, already this was surprise because this I didn't have before this move order yeah. in my games. So it, I, it was obvious that she was not prepared against this stuff. And uh, I just prepared this also before my tournament. And I had a file and I repeat this file before uh, <laughs> before my game. Yeah. And this is this yes. is one of the biggest lessons for all of you also who, who remember this. Actually, what Lilith is saying that preparing for a tournament, it starts now and it goes on forever because you're preparing every almost every couple of days. You do your repertoire, you build it up more and more. And the more you do this, the more you have all those openings in your head and you can take openings from maybe a year ago or from the last tournament and you know it already and you remember those things and yeah it's very interesting and insightful for me I mean probably most of you knew this before for me it is really genuinely interesting and new so yeah just wanted to interfere with this continue mm -hmm. please and it's very helpful really we we, we, we see the, just the, uh, from my games right that it's so it's so important it's so helpful yes, right yes 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 and I played c3 okay from already from c3 uh, my opponent started to think always a great sign for for that, yes yeah. always <laughs> always pleasant right this moment yes and she went for a, and she went for a, this this stuff e6 of course one of the main setups against mm -hmm. c3 to go this and i went for london, london. system i went for land system for a land, london system arne but you know i noticed when i was preparing against her i noticed that she doesn't have a london system in her uh, repertoire so oh, funny so it was because she was playing other stuff here she yeah. was playing other stuff oh, here okay so you have okay now i understand it so you lured her a bit into this system so you can play the london yes exactly and that she and that she because she uh, she doesn't play this uh, london system often it's obvious that uh, she didn't look at it properly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was the case because she was thinking. So it was obvious. I mean, if she would, <laughs> if she would know, of course, she would uh, make decisions uh, uh, much, uh, much faster. Funny. So probably she was thinking right now, how did that happen? Why is the London system on the board now? I didn't want that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Funny. Exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. Arne. Maybe, exactly, maybe. because of course, uh, of course, you know, you want to play such things that are familiar to you. Sure. You know that you know the ideas, that you check them, that you feel them. You know, and to go to such positions that you are not uh, so familiar, it's it's not uh, it's not so pleasant. So that's why we went. Okay, I was glad that uh, we are going to the um, to the London system. Mm -hmm. I was glad, and I played uh, this uh, Ifri stuff in London system, yeah. which again I checked, you know, before <laughs> before the tournament. So I was uh, I played the uh, okay usual stuff in Lon London system, and he uh, okay she played uh, of course normal normal stuff against uh, against uh, the system but she took again time again the same the same story you see Arne such story is, <laughs> <laughs> is continuing and continuing yeah. I played Knight e5 Bishop b7 Bishop d3 I mean just uh, all moves are uh, normal usual yeah. uh, very very logical c5 okay this is uh, this is a critical uh, moment by the way uh, in the game and here i took my time of course because i was thinking already uh, what uh, what uh, exactly variation uh, to choose which direction in which direction to go yeah because here okay i have um, i have uh, some ways uh, 
to attack, to continue to attack or to play you know, a castle just, you know, that's why I really took my time and I decided, okay, I will go, uh, I will go for the attack. Okay, mm -hmm. I will go for the attack in a straight, a straightforward way. So queen f3, knight c6 and queen h3. Oh, okay. I love it. Yeah, very nice. Yes, just to bring the queen. <laughs> yes, just to bring the queen, uh, uh, the queen uh, to the uh, to the to the attack. Yep. And uh, it's quite interesting. Of course, this idea queen f3, queen h3 is uh, quite interesting. Of course, there are details, there are nuances. You know that uh, in in this position, but generally the idea is. Uh, it's quite interesting and mm -hmm. straightforward and very clear. I want to bring my queen to the attack and uh, just uh, organize strong attack to the black king. Mm -hmm. So now my queen, just look, all all these uh, pieces are uh, just uh, our uh, attack. I are. Uh, uh, in, in action, right, yes. let's say, and also in future, I can have this uh, pawn also. So that's why. Uh, Okay, it's not easy, frankly speaking, for uh, black <laughs> already. Yes, it's not easy yeah. because, okay, uh, it's obvious that uh, I have many pieces in, in action and the attack can be really strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yes. So, so that, played... that pl plan worked out exactly how you, exactly you wanted it for man. now. Yes, exactly. So I, need, exactly. I, I need to emphasize again on, on this preparation because, yes, so it... Uh, if I if I uh, understand this correctly, so you surprised uh, her with your London system, which yes. was a bit of a delayed London system, but you yes. lured with her into this London system. Yes, with unusual move order. Mm -hmm. With mm -hmm. unusual move exactly. order, yet playing C3. And, yes, exactly. And the goal of this was not only to surprise her with the London system, you also know that you might be able to attack her on the king's side quite quickly with and bring her into trouble was this part of your preparation too did you know that she was a bit fragile against uh, an aggressive play or did it just happen out of the game right now because now okay that part is done with the preparation now i have to just think in the game continue my style was yeah, this was the question. Was this part of your preparation or did it just happen in the game you're attacking? It happened in the game. Yeah. It mm -hmm. just, uh, Arne, I didn't expect uh, after that, after C3, she would sure. go. Yeah, this uh, is the to, important uh, thing, yeah. She, she would go to London system because uh, before she didn't play. She didn't play a, a, a London system. That's why I didn't know. I I was surprised, but I was course, ready yeah. for. I was ready for London system, and just it happened in the game. And until this moment, that of course, sense. this all all moves are uh, of course are very logical from my side and from her side also. Yeah. But uh, the difference was that I was more confident and I uh, took less time than my opponent. This was the difference. And here only this moment I took my really took my time because yeah. uh, uh, okay I I knew all this stuff that my pieces are coming here but next step uh, how to how to develop uh, my attack and how to start it how to go for it this this, this I was thinking about this and I, I I thought okay this idea can't be bad you know just mm. to bring queen f3 and after knight c6 uh, queen h3 yeah. Uh, just to bring uh, the queen uh, to the action also. I have many pieces in the action. Mm -hmm. uh... But yeah, this, is, this was uh, also, yeah, what I wanted to, to understand. But of course, it makes total sense because it, once it that just happened. It just preparation happened. is done, because you, as you mentioned already, you didn't know what she would play after. Yes. Because there was just no info about it yet. So yeah, very very. But interesting. I was ready. I was you glad ready, that yeah. uh, I was glad that the the game went to the London system because sure. I was familiar with London system and as the game also showed, uh, uh, my opponent also knew the main ideas. But still, you know, uh, my preparation think. was better. Let's say like no, this. no, of course, of course, yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. This is uh, again super insightful and interesting once again. When was the key moment when you could really like? Uh, yeah, turn the game around like to, in your favor. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Let's let's go forward. So uh, I played Queen H3. She played G6. Uh, quite a logical move again to close this diagonal. Yeah, it's knight getting, F3. Getting rough. Is, yes. Yes. And my knight <laughs> is also pieces, coming. Yeah. <laughs> Arne, more pieces are coming. Yes. More pieces are coming to the action. Uh, she played a queen c7 again. Uh, again, uh, logical move. Again, logical move because she wants to put pressure on e5 square. Because now uh, I have already I have threats. You know, I have already threats. Yeah. For example, knight g5. You know, I mean, I want to bring my pieces just. Uh, more pieces to the uh, to the attack mm -hmm. and queen c7 exactly against for example knight g5 now i can't play because now e5 is hanging so that's why queen c7 is uh, uh, is in in such kind of positions it's a uh, usual move. yeah i mean it's yeah. a usual move just to put more pressure on e5 and here arne i played uh, i played um, interesting I, uh, I i was thinking a lot again <laughs> and i found an interesting uh, 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 direction, let's say, like this, but uh, it was, uh, Angie says it's, it was not the best, let's say, like this. <laughs> okay, but that yeah. doesn't matter because, uh, yeah, it's also about making the plans, then we already know that she lost a little bit of time, and this is, of course, then you can, as you mentioned it before, I think it was in our third or fourth video when you were uh, attacking your opponent and you mentioned that in less time it is harder to defend so you were thinking about the plan to make it a bit more troublesome i guess yes exactly yeah. exactly exactly arne here because um i sh yes i should i should really think i should really think what to do next because i have many pieces mm -hmm. in action but what to do next how to develop my attack and I, uh, I uh, calculated, uh, I started to calculate a lot, and I, uh, I decided, okay, let's go for this very crazy, uh, very crazy stuff. Bishop okay. g5. Oh, okay. Yeah, that Now I want, yes, because I, I, knight g5 doesn't work because e5 is hanging. Yeah. So I thought, okay, now let's go for, uh, let's start, uh, let's think about bishop g5. Yes. I'm just attacking the knight, right? Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely cannot really take back. I mean, yes, you can. She can take back with the bishop, but once you take the bishop, then your her knight is just hanging, and that's almost checkmate. I think that's hard to avoid, even. Yeah. Yes. So she cannot mm -hmm. really take, right? Yes. No, she cannot take. For example, look this variation. I will, for example, bishop e5. Let's mm -hmm. let's uh, discuss this also. For example, or knight e5. Okay, knight yeah. e5. For example, uh, also this this is working. Just look, Arne. I can take, take, and after that f4. Do you just f4? That is because the queen is also protecting. Uh, e3. e3 yeah beautiful exactly. that's tough yes oh yes. nice one yeah okay i didn't see that so this doesn't work yes uh it's good you mentioned this this knight e5 move now yes after knight g5 it's it's working but after bishop g5 it uh, it doesn't work because yeah. all the uh because uh it's just uh f4 is coming and i'm i'm winning on the spot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she played of course knight is hanging she played knight e4 knight goes away yeah Yes. Uh, here, my <laughs> excellent bishop is hanging, ah. so I should I should trade. But I I calculated this. All all moves are almost you know almost forced. That's uh, a, she I should can take. And my that. idea, Arne. Here, my idea was to play bishop f6. Yes. This was my idea. Yes. This looks this looks very very nice. Yes, this looks very dangerous. She really. can she, she can do nothing except h5, right? Uh, h5 is the only move. It's yeah, the only I see move. nothing else. Yeah. Because look, I want knight g5 also. Mm. I want queen h6 and I want knight g5. Of course, I calculated here bishop e7 stuff, because my bishop is just excellent here and uh, yeah. black wants to trade. But a uh, knight g5 here just was uh, knight uh, g5 or even knight g4. I have such 
That's uh, crushing, yeah. Yes, my knights are very strong. Knight g4 or knight g5 both are very strong. Mm. And they just, uh, I'm, I just, attack is, is very strong. Yeah, attack is yeah, crushing yeah. attack. So, so h5, the only move. I mean, she's she's finding, I mean, she's a strong play and she uh, she's finding, of course, the best moves mm -hmm. until one moment. So uh, I played, okay, I played g4. I I must play, you know. Okay, I, I must go, oh I must goodness. go for this. Arne, this is the only way. I mean, I yeah. must go g4 and... Uh, I love it. Yeah, very nice. I didn't know you were such an attacking player, Lilith. Didn't, didn't. Julie, know I that. am not, Arne, but... <laughs> Well, that definitely helped you in this tournament. I mean, but there, yes, there are uh, there are games that yes, uh, yeah, but, it's it's like this. <laughs> and yeah, we repeat each other all the time. But of course, yeah, due to the thanks to the preparation, which worked a couple of times already, that we found out you got better mm -hmm. time, and then it's nice to attack. Then it's nice it's to nice find to attack. those exactly, yeah. exactly. And now, okay, she took my knight. Okay, after the game, when I checked uh, with engine, you know, okay, engine says that uh, after uh, bishop e7 here, it's co it's uh, complicated. But you know, it's I mean, it's not easy really. I I didn't I mean in this position I didn't check bishop e7. No, me neither. No. No, and uh, I was I was thinking exactly what she played. I mean, she she took my knight. And I took, uh, of course, the, uh, the pawn. Yeah. And here, okay, I was uh, calculating uh, mostly, mostly knight e5 move. This move I was calculating during yeah. the game, mostly because, uh, and this is the, of course, this is, uh, this should be played. And I calculated this variation, knight e5, I take all is force. That's why it's not so difficult to calculate. Mm -hmm. Bishop if, if bishop e5, so uh, either bishop e7 or bishop e5, two moves. Uh, b I calculated this variation, I take all is force that uh, she should take because otherwise it's mate is coming. I don't h7 or h8, uh, so uh, here or here. Yep. So she should take, then check is coming. Uh, king uh, f7 check is coming i mean all is forced yeah okay and uh, after king e8 yes i should finally win the piece back and have I am definitely yes. a better yes position. First, but but first i'm taking on oh G6. yeah that makes sense yes 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 uh, this uh, uh, first queen g6 i'm taking the true, pawn true. and queen f7 and this is and uh, after all these crazy variations i am a pawn up and i calculated this i thought okay i'm pawn up not bad but here's uh, uh, engine shows that with correct moves uh, um, uh, black can compensate Comp yes, wow. make a uh, keep balance. Let's Oof. say like this. I'm still better, but Tough. not decisive yeah, yeah, yeah. But Not yeah, decisive but that, advantage. If you would have had this position and with the time difference, it would have probably been quite comfortable to play for you. Quite, I, I yeah. was content. I was content. Yes, I, I thought, mm -hmm. okay, I'm pawn up. Uh, I have uh, uh, much time. So yes, I was content. Yeah. And here I calculated also this. Also, so okay, because because she should do something. Because if, if other move, for example, bishop e7 now, I just take and uh, again, mate is coming. Yeah, that's unavoidable. I mean, it, she doesn't have many moves. And if knight e5 d takes e5, bishop e7, uh, here also uh, here also crazy variation. I am taking uh, all is forced. I'm che I should check. I should check. Then uh, I should play queen g6 here. And now castle long. And then castle long, Beautiful. yes, castle long, and <laughs> castle long exactly, and I am better at the end. Yeah. Again, I am. Again, uh, it was something like king d8, a long castle. Yes, king said all is forced, and here a uh, bishop g7. This was uh, yes, this was um, oh, okay. move. This was bishop. And I am taking on e6 also. Oh, that's that's rough. Yeah. Yes, uh, this move is giving me a big advantage. Mm -hmm. And here. Okay, uh, that's why I was thinking. Okay, she should go either to that, that position, or I mean, only only this uh, this variations I was um, I was looking yeah. at because I didn't see any other move, and I saw and 
you know Arne and also I thought and because she was thinking a lot I thought okay maybe she was thinking about g5 here because mm. my idea here is to take uh, just this right and uh, mate yeah so yeah. Uh, so either you should take on e5 or you should uh, play g5 uh, in order to close to try to close this g5 mm -hmm. and g5 i saw okay if g5 she wants it's obvious if i play for example rook g1 she wants to go king h7 if rook g5 rook g8 so oh, and keep the balance you know that's the plan i didn't even see that i thought like what happens after queen g4 uh, g4 but now it's the same yeah the king goes to the side and the rook goes in that's that's a good defense yeah hmm. arne but your intuition is is very good by the way you know queen g4 is a is a winning move oh. because there is Oops. difference there is big difference after queen g4 and you know when i found g queen g4 she was thinking i was thinking too because um, i was called i was trying to calculate yeah. right because the, the position is that the, one wrong move and uh, i could lose right so because i sacrificed the uh, in this position i mm. sacrificed the uh, knight so if uh, i'm i'm not uh, i'm not finding uh, good uh, attacking chances i'm just losing the game so that's why I was sitting and calculating with her also, you know. And I thought, okay, if g5, and I saw that after queen g4, I'm winning. And I thought, okay, maybe she would come g4. <laughs> oh. And I would win. <laughs> and I was hoping that she would come and she made this move. And she played g5 and very quick I, I played queen g4 because I, I calculated already. already Difference, oh my Arne. goodness. The difference after king h7, I am giving mate. Can you find it? Uh, that's amazing. Wait a second. Mate is coming after king h7. There is difference after uh, rook g1 and queen g4. But uh. actually, uh, engine says that rook g1 also is winning, but it was uh, queen g4 is much faster and much more precise. Can you at home see that? I cannot at the moment. I mean, I thought about that. I didn't see king h7. So, okay, king yes, h7. If oh, king h7. no. Oh, I have to think yes, of it around sir. the corner. It's a check on um, e4, right? Excellent. Yeah, yeah, if king yeah, g8, yeah, yeah, yeah. if king g8, then Arne. the knight comes. Yeah. Exactly. So if king h7, ah. uh, queen e4, if king h5, uh, h6, knight g4 is coming. Beautiful. And it's very nice mate. Yes. yes. h3. And oh uh, uh, yes, it's nice. It's it's nice game actually. And if king g8, I'm playing h6 and h7, h8 mate. Mm. Crazy. Yes, and she played g5, and I played queen g4, and she understood. I mean, she. <laughs> I, I could see that she was very upset because okay, it's losing. It's yeah, losing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's losing. Okay, she played rook c8. Ah, and she here, played something different, okay? Uh, yes, she played rook c8, and here I took my time, Arne, because I was thinking uh, to play h6, because the idea, if I h6, I want h7 and mate. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I but also I saw after queen g5, I am winning, so I couldn't decide which one to choose, you know? <laughs> And then I saw, I thought, okay, maybe uh, maybe after h6 will be some, but both are winning, both are winning, and okay. the engine says even h6 is winning faster, but okay, I, I, I thought, okay, I will go for this one, because it's more, more safe, let's say, like this, and now h6, and now I want h7, h8. Yeah, that's it, massive. Just, yes, just, the, okay, she played this one, I just took uh, king e8. Because other, yeah. okay, h7, h8 is coming, and I just took uh, h7. Now rook d1 is coming. Oh my I mean, gosh! Yes, and it's it's yes, and c4. Bishop, no, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. then you don't you you know you lost. You're upset because you 
didn't see that and then you yes. just don't After want to Queen G4 you just is don't already want to give up yeah yes 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 yes, yes. i mean uh, yes uh, of course uh, everyone would continue here as yeah. black because yeah. uh, uh, anyway you know that you are losing but you want you know this moment to yeah. delay you yeah, know this yeah, resigning yeah. moment and it's un understandable completely and everyone would would play yes, until yes. the end i know it too well as well from, from yes and she, here she put a trap <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she wants yeah, to yeah. give me it, you see? How to so, dodge that. <laughs> yes. And I took and uh, it's yes, Rook D7 is coming and here she resigned because next move is made. Yes, next Beautiful. move is made. Yes, this was uh oh. this was um, such a <laughs> That was uh, that was intense. It was a long episode, but it was worth it because it's so interesting again. It all started from the preparation after all, and then you just had uh, your moves in the game which you could find due to all of this so it is uh, yeah it's really insightful all of this we will see each other in the last episode in the last round on board number one yes <laughs> <laughs> we, will, we will just quickly browse through the game but then we will also tackle a couple of questions which uh, we might not have answered yes so i'm looking forward to this thanks for staying with us hope you enjoyed as much as us See you. Bye-bye. Thank you and bye-bye.